People think that entrepreneurship is all about the business. That's not true. Absolutely not true. Once you know yourself, who you are, what do you want, what you already know within yourself, you will definitely be successful. That I guarantee you. Good evening and welcome again to another episode of Personal Development for Entrepreneurs. In tonight's episode, I have with me Dr. Venga, my friend and mentor, who is going to be sharing with us how to overcome negative emotion. Something that is, I would say, at an all-time high, uh, considering the lockdowns and pandemic uh, situation that we're all going through. Uh, it's a very apt subject, and he is well acquainted with the subject matter. Good evening, Dr. Venga. Good evening, Islam. And good evening to all of you. Uh, and thank you very much for spending time with us today. Not too long, just nice. <laughs> yes. So, Dr. Venga, uh, yes, let's get into the crux of the matter. What is emotion? Exactly. Very good. Very good. I, I, think, I think this is very important to understand. That first, emotion is a psychological drama of the individual. Emotion is a psychological drama. Each, every human, 7.6 billion human have this psychological drama. Mm -hmm. This psychological drama, okay, it's amazing if you look at it objectively. You see, you know, there are so many organs in our body. Take your kidney, take your bladder, Take your heart, take your liver, take every part of your body and you never pay attention to any one of them. Yep, absolutely. In fact, the heart function, the less you pay attention, the better it functions. Correct. Same with the liver, same with your stomach, your digestive system. Every part of your body, you never pay attention. It can work very well. The only thing that you pay attention to it's a stupid thing you call the thoughts that comes into your brain. The thoughts, the thoughts, always the thought, jumping like a monkey, you know. And this is the psychological, psychological disability we all human have. Correct. And, and the fact of the matter is, this psychological uh, thing, uh, the psychological makeup. We, nobody makes up this. You make it yourself. And you know, close to 50% of whatever the psychological thinking that you're thinking of is totally not true. They have done studies on that. Mm -hmm. Not true. You make it up. And this psychological, your truth, you know, is the one that is destroying you. That is so sobering. It's a very sobering fact, Dr. Venga, that um, I, I like the way you put it. Uh, we spend so much time with thoughts, which is intangible, uh, uh, mostly not real, uh, and sp spend so little time with our physical uh, parts of our body, like our heart, and you know, which is so important to us living long. Really, really um, a sobering fact. You realize, therefore, we are wasting a lot of good energy on something that is useless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, first of all, it's like this. Huh? You come. Uh, how, how do we? Why do we get this emotion or what we call feeling? Why? It's always to do with one hundred percent to do with what has happened in the past. It's never something that's going to happen. It's always what happened in the past. Because as we are talking, we are going forward, you know. So we leave the past. Correct. So, so it's, it's to do with the past. And that past is sitting in your memory. So what you are doing is all your psychological nonsense that we all have, and we think that is emotion. Oh, I'm like this. You know, I was brought up like that. My mother was like this. My father was like that. All this psychological drama, you make up. Because why? 
Nobody can say wrong or right to us. They were not there. So you can block. We, you as a human, we are a damn good bluffer. Lana. <laughs> we bluff ourselves. We tell story to ourselves. And you know what? Uh, it come, you see, it's, it's because of the past. Because it's the past, you can do nothing about it. Correct. And, and we spend a lot of our energy there. Why? So it's your memory and your imagination. Two things, remember? I always talk about it. Your memory and your imagination. Put the two together. You are, you can have, you, you are the director. You are the actor. You are the reviewer. You are everything. Mm -hmm. That's why. That is the reason why we are so caught up with movie. Movie actors. All these are illusion. We are paying money to see the damn picture. And we fall in love with them. And we think the picture is real. How stupid can we be? So it's an illusion. Dr. Venga, are you saying emotion is an illusion? Of course it is. Emotion is an illusion. It's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Because it's made up of what happened. You cannot see what is real in front of you. Let me give you some simple example. Become. They say this very well. No? You cannot see, you cannot see the beam in front of you, but you can see the little spot in somebody's eyes one mile away. Correct now. Mm -hmm. What is in front of you, you cannot see. Me. That's why you always think your neighbor's wife is better than yours. Or your neighbor's husband is better than your present husband. <clears throat> because why? You make up story. You're a damn good actor. Right? Damn good story maker. Right? That's why we like to hear story. We like to tell story. We get caught in the story. We like to read storybook. All sorts of things that we do. And something that is so important to you, your heart, your kidney, your liver, your stomach, all that, huh? they can function on their own. What a bunch of hypocritic human we are. Huh? <laughs> yep. That's why we are so different from the animal. Does an animal have ulcer? Does an animal have cancer? Has an animal got hypertension? You see, animals don't have it. Human creates it by feeding the animal things that he doesn't eat naturally. But outside of that, we have that. Why do we have all the disease? Our emotion, it is killing us because why? We live on the past. We live in illusions. We live and we think and we spend and we brood and you know, I should have not married. I should have not done this. I should have, what well, yeah. You can carry on like that, you know? Mm -hmm. A bunch of, you see all this, and then we blame. Oh, it's because of the neural cortex we have. We have a developed human brain. Hey, you have a huge brain, you know? Whereas an earthworm got no brain, small brain. And yet the earthworm is very happy every day. You with such a huge brain, you are killing us. You, And you know what? The entire world take advantage of it. From the advertiser to the music, to the radio, and they sell you all sorts of rubbish on the street, on the, on the web. On, that they can really fool you. Actually, we, we, we are the suckers. We are the one that is being utilized well by 1% of the human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, Ikram, look, look, look at what we are doing to ourselves. Because any type, any type of emotion is always about the past. And where is the past? In your memory, right? Correct. Can you see the future and be emotional about it? No. Take an example. It's going to rain. 
Ayah, why is going to rain now? Huh? Negative thought. You don't think, hey, there, I'm so glad there is rain. Wow, it will cool the system. It will give water. It will give food to the soil. The plant will be happy. What? And, and oh, I, I said, this is very good. Do you say like that when rain comes? No. No, you don't. If the sun is coming up, wow. If the sun, huh? Ikram, if the sun doesn't come up for one day, just one day, in 18 hours, most of the living thing under the earth would be dead. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, you better know that. You can check it out. Very in Google. You see, this is an important fact. And yet, uh, you say, wow, there is sun today. Wow, well, I feel happy that the sun has come up. Do we, are we like that? No, no. The sun is too hot, la, no? The sun is too dark, la, no? You know, the sun doesn't come up, la, no? It's clouded by the smoke. See, we are very good at blaming at everybody else. We are very good at that. So that's one of your um, quotes in the, in the V Planet today, isn't it? Do you spend time brainstorming or blame storming? Yeah, blame. <laughs> this is it. Everything we blame. Why? It's very good. La. Because when we blame somebody else, then we are not responsible. Correct. We are irresponsible. You see, Ikram, I, I am not supporting what has happened in our country, but I'm telling you, the entire pandemic and the entire problem of people getting into this uh, uh, COVID, being tested positive, 7,000 and all that, who is to be blamed? We. We, the human, the Malaysian, are to be blamed. You are irresponsible. When they put some form of restriction or travel, why the bloody hell must you go out? Why don't you stay in your house? Oh, cannot all. If I stay in the house, huh, how do I deal with my wife? How do I deal with my husband? How do I deal with my children? How do I deal with my neighbor? How do I deal with my house? So, blame other people. See, we are very good at We are a damn good blamer. Humans are like that. Does the animal blame him? No. He doesn't, right? It's this damn stupid human. This is the thing. This is the thing that is destroying and killing you. And, and it is out of nothing. It is not even true. What happened in the past to your life is not even true. You are making it up. Mm -hmm. Statistics show 50%. And this is talking statistics done in the United States where it's psychologically tested question. But I can tell you 90% of whatever story you tell about your past is all bullshit. <laughs> totally bullshit, okay? And that's how, that's how we have, and that's why, that's why we blame. Oh, I shouldn't eat this kind of food, I eat it. Hey, are you looking after your own heart, your own liver, your own stomach, your own intestine, your kidney? Are you looking after it? No. All these stupid things that you are so attached to the thought, to the thought that's coming, that's coming and going. Okay, can I give you a magic? Why don't you stop? Why don't you stop your heart from functioning? Hold your breath for two minutes. You won't, isn't it? No. Ah, so if you want your heart to work, your liver to work, your stomach to work, everything to work, your body to work, then, but the brain must stop working. It is the one that is disturbing you. What kind of stupidity is that? What type of stupidity is that? Can you ever stop anything in your body from working? No. No, and then, why do we make stupid statements? Because it's written in a book. If somebody said it, what kind of bullshit is that? Love? You see, huh? so a lot of this psychological drama is caused by yourself that we call 
emotionally I am. Oh, then there is there is this emotion that says, oh, you must separate from negative thought and positive thought. All thoughts are negative. Period. Because it's dealing with the past. All thoughts, whatever that is. Why do you pay attention? Go forward. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go forward? Think of what you are to do tomorrow. Which is what I always advocate. If you have things to do, will you have negative thoughts? The answer would be no. Because you want to do something that's always positive. As simple as that, right? Correct. We never ever question ourselves. Why am I thinking like that? But you never ask, right? my heart, are you beating okay? Huh? Hey, are you negative? Huh? Hey, why are you beating? Huh? No, you don't. But it functions right. So if you can't stop your heart or your liver or from breathing or your stomach from what? Your, your thought must go. You are the one that's creating all this. Your brain will be working all the time. Mm -hmm. And who is activating this thought? You. You are the one that's activating this thought. Because your five senses, you see something, poof, it'll go back to what you did five years ago, two years ago. It will take you there. It'll never take you forward. It'll always take, because that is what your five senses are doing. It will see, it will hear, it will taste, it will smell, and it will touch. These are five senses. That's how you accumulate all your memory. All your memory. 100% of your memory is from the five senses. Your eye, your ear, your nose, your mouth, and your, and your touch. And memory, so your five senses are collecting data, uh, but it's not just that, right? It's how you're interpreting this data that's causing the, the, the emotion, isn't it? You see, that information you're carrying, <clears throat> then you have an imagination inside you. Yeah. Then your imagination comes from seeing the picture. Wow, she was so emotional in the picture. Oh, yeah, the drama was so... All that imagination, which you also see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. All that put together, what do you have? A good, good, damn good roja. An emotional soup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is something that we must... Okay, what we see here taste and touch is not real. It's your own perception. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. My friend, my friend, look at all the things that is happening during the pandemic. In this one year and now four months, one year and four months, I have listened to news from from the radio, the television, all that. And already I make a conclusion that nothing that is coming out of this media, whether it is social media or the public media or the bullshit media, whatever, all is not true. Mm -hmm. The only truth is myself because I cannot see between real and false. The, the problem is not what they are saying, it's what you say. Including uh, international Western media, they are the biggest, the biggest <laughs> false news spreader. This also I come to the conclusion. In fact, I am going to stop using Astro after this. I don't want. Because why? No point. Really, really no point. Because what? You are getting so much of this negative news from them. Mm. Yeah. Isn't it? Correct. You, what do they, why, why they do that? Because that's what people will buy. Because they love, oh, yo, one building fall down, you know, 147 people die. Oh, really? Uh, who are they? Uh? That's what they like to report. And that's why you like to watch. That's why news media is so good. Mm. Because when you write bad about somebody else, they all love to read, isn't it? Correct. 
Have you ever read a newspaper that says this man, Ikram Maraj Khan, became enlightened today? Do you ever read it? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't sound very interesting. Yeah, no, nobody will report. <coughs> when you get enlightened, nobody will report about you. No? You are an enlightened person. Do they report about you or not? No. no, they want to dig into what all, all the bad things you did. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is what they go for. See, the world is made up of negative things, and therefore, you must be clever enough to separate from negative news to positive. So, you you yourself have the ability. Ask yourself every day when you get up in the morning. Okay, have I paid attention to my heart? Mm -hmm. Have I paid attention to my breathing? Have I paid attention to my liver and whatever that's in the my my pancreas la, my this la, my that la? Huh? Have I paid attention to my to my intestine, the digestive tract? Have I paid attention to it? Did I move my bowel very well? Do I do that or not? Is my feet okay? Is my hand okay? Do we do that? No. Is my brain okay? No. We just think about our thoughts. Oh, the, wow, that's it. What? The monkey running around. No? Yeah. And you are the one that's creating it. The moment you get up from sleep, the first thing that attacks you is open your eyes, boom, something comes to your mind. That's why, in my opinion, and this is always what I do, I have sat down and written so much of things during this one year and three months sitting alone by myself, I've learned so much, so much a thing about my own self. I have become my yeah. That's the only way. Now, if you want to stop this negative thought, what do you do? Ask and ask yourself, why am I thinking like that? That's it. A simple question. Why am I thinking like this? Mm -hmm. Write down. Don't just talk in the mouth or inside your head. Write it down. Take a piece of paper. Why am I thinking like this? Write down all what you're thinking about and then ask yourself, why? Yeah. You will get the answer. And the answer is within you. So, it's not outside somewhere. So what you it's just said, within you. what you just said, that is the how. How to overcome emotions. Yes. Which but is before you come to the how, you must know the why. Mm -hmm. Why? Are you negative? Why are you getting negative thoughts? Why? And if you realize all your negative thought is coming from the past, you'll stop. You will stop every time you want to go back. Hey, boy, hey, that's the past. What happened? Can you do anything about the past? No. Can you? No. Can we go back in time? No. Cannot, isn't it? You meet old people of my age, uh, 82. What do they talk about? Oh, well, uh, I don't mix around with it. <laughs> the only person I know who's 82 is you. <laughs> do I talk about the past? Do I talk about the past? No. You see, old people talk about their past because they don't know how to look at their future. Because they know they are going to die. Mm. The only thing is their memory. Young people, when I say young, I mean anyone who is below the age of 70 is young, or at least middle age. You are still young. You must think forward and not backward. So, you know the reason why you have this negative feeling and you dwell, you dwell with this psychological problem. It's because it's something that's happening to you, which is real. In, you think it is real because that's how you perceive it. Correct. So, now, then the second step is, hey, why are you thinking like that? What can you do with it? Can you do something with it? The answer will be no, no. 
So then what do I do? The action, of course, is the how. The how is to sit down and then write down every negative thing that you are thinking about and ask yourself, what can you do about it? And the answer will be nothing. nothing. Yeah. But if you are a little bit like better than the worm, you have a, you have a fantastic <laughs> neural cortex no? that can think beyond you. No? Mm -hmm. But we are stunted. We are, we are stopped from thinking like that because of our own self, our education system doesn't allow you to think. It dwells with things that happened in the past. It, it puts so much emphasis of other people's problem, of other issue outside of you. Correct. Isn't it? Absolutely. The whole Correct. human, <clears throat> why are we like that? Uh, we're drawn to the past. We're looking at the past. We always dwell in the past. Mm. And it's a human body. This human body yeah, is a very sophisticated, you can call it a machine, right? very sophisticated, intelligent, very clever. Right? You are abusing it, right? using it. In my mind, in my mind, it's like this, Lana. I'm 82 years old. Why do I speak like that? Because I know where I'm going. I'm going to be dead. I know. So what can I do is to awaken, awaken people. Put some consciousness in what you're doing, Lana. Like I said to you just now, it is raining. Wow, it's very good it's raining because it waters the plant, it waters the tree. Oh, but I live in a flat. Huh? Yeah, la. you are one person living in a flat, 37 story high. La, no? But you know what? Nature is everywhere. La. The water is to help them feed themselves, like give them some food. La, no? And then also that, what, that rain water you also drink. La, no? When are you going to look upon that as a, something that is good? Then he said, oh, too much rain, I get flooded off. <clears throat> okay, and then what? Oh, the construction is the one that is causing <coughs> the problem. But you never think about all the garbage you take and throw on the drain. You are yourself a part of the problem. Oh, the government should not have given license. When are you going to grow up? Like when? After you're dead. <laughs> you understand? Know you understand what I'm saying or not? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely I'm true. Thinking. And the newspaper, the television, the 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 only everything that's happening in the world, news, everything uh, is so negative, it's better not to hear them at all. Mm. You understand? And social media, we are champion, you know? One fella said, he said something. Within, within 10 seconds, somebody is WhatsApping around. And then he gets distorted. By the time one hour has passed, that particular message now has got ear, got head, got eye, got nose, got mouth, got a whole body, and a whole lot of things happen. Any of that is true or not? Of course, very true. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I mean, what, uh, the, the imagination is not true. I meant uh, it's no. true that people do think that way. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, Ikram, I, I feel, uh, but not annoyed, and I feel that we should be better than this. La. We should actually become a little better. La. Correct. In the way we think, in the way we process things, in the way. And that to me, the, if you understand yourself, then you can handle this social drama. Correct. If you cannot handle yourself, then this social drama will not happen. And that is 
one of the major issues. So to me, it's like that, you know? The moment you're thinking negatively, ask yourself, why am I thinking negatively? Sit down and write down. Then you get one, two, three, four, five, five reasons or four reasons, three reasons why you're thinking like that. That is the only way I know how that you can change from negative thinking to positive thinking. This, to me, is the key. Fantastic. So I see, you know. Really good, really good. Um, so, Dr. Venga, we have less than five minutes. Uh, I just want to recap. What you're saying is that emotion is 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 false it's a it's an illusion completely because it's relying on the past which is your memories uh, and your memories again is in fact you have gone as far as saying in this episode that anything all your thoughts from the past are negative you don't dwell in the past just stay in the present and look forward right um, so we need to understand that that emotion is uh, it, it's it's a lot of uh, muddled up uh, uh, memories and and uh, from the past. Um, so once you once you realize that, then you start to uh, put le less value onto that that those thoughts, which means you don't get so emotional over it. But the other thing is that you need to understand why are you feeling this way about something, and that's when you come into writing something you always recommend: sit down and write your emotions. And that's the only way that someone can actually overcome negative emotions. Right? Okay. That is correct. Absolutely correct. Fantastic. Really good. So it's a very simple methodology, actually. If you want to overcome your negative emotions, understand emotion, ask why it's happening, and write your emotions out. If you want a complicated answer, read a book. <laughs> on human psychology, why and all that, okay? okay complex it. <clears throat> you can make it very complex, but you want a simple answer. My method is very simple, but it is something that you must do. As you keep writing all your neg negative emotion, you begin to realize that you are the problem. You are the one that's creating all this. You are the one that's going and talking about what happened here, what happened there. You are like that. You, whenever something goes wrong, you oh, two days ago, three days ago, one week ago, one month ago. You are the creator of the problem. Uh, so Dr. therefore, the answer is get out, get out of it. Okay. Uh, just very quickly, what do, should I write about? Let's say I take a paper, pencil, and I'm ready to write. Um, you know, my thoughts on my emotions now. What should I be, how should I structure my writing? Okay, simple question. Anna. Why are you, question, ask yourself, the first question, hey, why do I think, like, why is my thinking like this? Why? <clears throat> it is not natural, you know, for a human to think like that. It's because we are, while writing, uh, you say, why? Oh, I don't know, Lana. Oh, perhaps you begin to dig. And as you dig, hey, perhaps it's because what happened a few moments ago. What happened? Huh? Then, oh, yeah, la, my mother said this, Lana. My friends said that, la, my WhatsApp said that, Lana. My Facebook said this. Huh? Oh, but why am I paying so much attention to this? Huh? Why? Is it real? Huh? No, like, actually, it's not real. Or I never said it. I don't think it happened. So now why am I thinking about it? Okay, I have a simple answer. I say P, D, C, A. La. Plan. That is the why. Mm -hmm. Write down. Okay. Do something about it. Okay. Uh, after you've done it, check to see whether you can improve or not. Then plan again. E D C A. <clears throat> so like that, huh, you <coughs> <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <coughs> I'm talking too loud. <laughs> Am I talking too loud? I found you to be uh, your typical self, which is loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, as, as 
it's a simple way of asking, you know? And actually, yeah, this has been tested out. If you ask yourself five times <clears throat> on the same subject, why? Already on the third, uh, you'll get the answer. So you just keep asking. Then you go why, 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 it becomes why. a little bit more. Yeah. And the, by, by the time you reach the fourth stage of why, uh, you get a much, much clearer understanding of your own self. Clarity. Clarity is what we need in life. Sure, absolutely. Clarity. To be clear of what you are doing is so essential. You are not clear because your past is hijacking you. And to offload that, you need to write. You need to write. If you don't write, good luck. <laughs> good right. luck. But the more you write, I tell you, Ikram, during this pandemic, I have met at least, at least in this total number of one year and three months, every single day, including Sunday and Saturday, I have met at least uh, three people. Three people who have been known to me or who are user of my system, the V Planner, they talk to me. And all these three persons multiplied by one year and three months have issued. After talking to them, usually for an hour or maybe at the maximum two hours, they find themselves relieved. Relief. And they say, thank you, Venga, for helping me out. Mm. That's all. I, I find that almost every issue they have is a result of the way they think. Yeah. Okay, you can say, like, oh, Venga, are you telling me that COVID-19 uh, is, is an illusion? No, it's real. But I also want you to understand from the time you were born, your parents were born, their parents were born, for millions of years, virus has lived with you. You are living with virus. Absolutely. Don't tell me you don't have. You have bacteria, you have virus inside you. Yep. You have lived with them, right? So what's wrong with living another one? My simple question, right? Huh? What's wrong with living in a, with another one? Nothing. Then, of course, you see, the newspaper, they drum it up. Oh, this virus is coming. It's beating you. It's coming from here, coming from that. All sorts of drama. You identify yourself with what the newspaper, the media, everything is saying. Are you not killing yourself? Yes, you are. Who is the problem? The people who invent the news, the virus, or you? The sucker who falls for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dr. Venga, we've it, come to the... Yeah, I'm not telling you some stories again. Yes, yeah. We've come to the end of our uh, time. Uh, what you've shared today has been really excellent and, and very simple. The simplicity of it is, uh, you know, refreshing. Like, how do you overcome emotions? Thank you very much. Our next episode of Personal Development for Entrepreneurs is happening on August 4th. As usual, it's the first Wednesday of every month. Please join us again. We'll have a very interesting topic for you for uh, that particular episode. Again, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope that um, what Dr. Venga has shared is going to help you. I mean, emotions are something that's running high at the moment um, with the pandemic, with the lockdown and everything. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and stay emotionally healthy, guys. Be positive. You can solve your own problem. Good night.